Good morning everyone. Today we are going to begin our new science lesson. Can you look at the pictures and guess what our new topic will be? Yes, you have guessed it right. We are going to learn about materials. Can you name the objects that you see in the pictures? Well done! Now think about what this object is made of. Let's try describing each one like this. The spoon is made of metal. Let's try the next one. The boat is made of wood. Try the next one on your own. Yes, the jar is made of glass. And the book is made of paper. Tell me, what do you notice? Different objects and things are made of different materials. So what are we learning today? We will be learning to differentiate between objects and materials. Our will for today is I can name the objects we use in everyday life. I can identify the material an object is made of. What is an object? An object is a thing that is made of one or more material. What are materials? Materials are substances from which something is made. Objects are made up of different materials to serve a specific purpose. Now let's learn further about materials. We use wood, metal, plastic, glass and fabric to make most of everyday objects. Here are a few facts about some materials. Wood. Could you think of three objects made of wood? Here we go. One. Yes. Two. Perfect. And three. Good job. Wood is a natural material. It comes from trees. Maybe you've already guessed a few things. Let's discuss. A few things that are made from wood are furniture, boats, instruments, paper. Wood is used as it can be carved into any shape. It is strong and has a very nice appearance. Fabric. Oh, we all love it, isn't it? Our clothes are made of fabric. But we use fabric for also many other things. Can you identify three other objects? Fabric comes from plants and animals. Things that can be made from fabric are curtains, clothes, towels. Fabric is used that is it is very light, warm, soft, and it's quite easy to produce and sew. Plastic is another everyday material that we commonly see. Most of your toys are also made of plastic. Plastics are man-made, mostly from oil. A 
a few things made from plastic are balls, yes, again, toys, bottles, and carrier bags. Plastics is used as it can be made to be flexible, hard, rough, or smooth. It can also be very cheap to produce and easily washable. Metal. That's another very useful and very strong material. Objects as tiny as a nail and as big as an aeroplane are made of metal. Metals are made from rocks. The rocks are dug up and taken to a factory where they are heated and processed into metal. A few things made from metal are jewelry cutlery, cars. Metal is as strong, it is hard, smooth and easily washable. Glass. This is another very common material. Glass is made from very fine sand. It is heated until it melts. A few things made from glass are bottles, light bulbs, glasses that helps us to see clearly. Glass is used as it is strong, hard, smooth, easily washable and transparent. Some objects are made of more than one material. For example, this pencil that we use every day. This pencil is made of wood, metal, rubber, and graphite. These materials make it easy to use for different purposes. To write, we use the graphite material. To erase, we use the material rubber. To hold the eraser firmly, a small metallic cap is used and of course the graphite is covered with wood for safety and grip. Amazing, isn't it? Now let's be material hunters. Look around you. Use your observational skills. Find some objects and see if you know which material or materials they are made from. Get at least five different materials you can see. Then, arrange the materials that you have collected into groups and label your groups just like it is shown in the pictures. Click a picture of your sorting and post it on your seesaw journal. Hope you're enjoying using the Seesaw Journal. You'll be learning a lot of new things using this. Let's review the key vocabulary. Material, glass, wood, metal, plastic, fabric. Now you can go back to the previous slide and do your activity. Once you are done, you can move to the next part, which is material song. Enjoy this song and try creating your own verses by looking at the objects around you and share with me how you did it. Till then, I'm going to see you soon again with my next topic about materials. Goodbye.